Hey guys, I'm Tom Roy, and I've been skating for over 20 years. I'm here to give you all the details that you need to know to learn tricks as fast and efficiently as possible. And of course, make it fun in the process. Every trick has that one tip that you should never forget. Once you know what that is, it's in the bag. Let's get into it. Hey guys, welcome back. This video is mainly for you. You've been there since the beginning. So today, I want to give back. Bring it in. All right, we got a special guest here. My good, good friend, Jordan Maxim. We're filming a segment for iDevil today, and this guy's really good at frontside flips. Let's do some frontside flips. As always, let's start off with the foot position. Okay, for the back foot. For this trick, a lot of people do this trick differently, but it really just depends on what works for you. But for me, I like to put it a little bit on this edge, kind of like I did for hard flips. If you watch my hard flip tutorial, like not fully on the tail, because when I do that, it makes me pop harder and flick harder, and I grip my board too much. So it really helps me to have my foot a little bit on this edge. Now for the front foot. So for this trick, it's a lot like a kickflip. Like I set up very similar to a kickflip for frontside flips. So I'd say, however you do kickflips, pretty much just imitate that. And then I'll get into the flick shortly. So that back toe, you stand pretty much up on the edge of the board and up on your toes. That's really important for this trick. You don't want to keep your foot flat. So stand up on that back toe before you pop. Same with your front foot. It's all about putting weight on that ball of your foot, not flat. And then for the weight distribution, you're gonna to wanna to put most of your weight on your back foot, just like most tricks. So really, really bend down on this back leg. Like notice how I bend down. I'm bent more over this leg. That's how you put extra weight on that back foot. When I'm rolling up for frontside flips, I go pretty straight. Like, so just think of going straight. Sometimes it helps to curve just a tiny bit like that. See, I'm regular. So it'd be like looking this way and just curving a little bit this way. For some reason, it helps my front foot feel a little bit more secure and sturdy on my board by just giving it a little bit of a curve in, but going straight works pretty well for most people too. So you're rolling up, bent down real far, up on your toes. Now comes the pop. So right as you're popping, it's really important to twist your shoulders just like with frontside 180s. Turn and then pop. Pretty much so you're facing forward by the time you're popping, just like a taught with frontside big spins. So next, it really helps to lean back just a little bit for this trick because you want to be able to push your board out in front of you. That was one of the best tips I learned with frontside flips from Dave Baczynski actually, he was really good at frontside flips. He always talked about pushing your board out in front of you and that really helps to not lean too far ahead of it and get ahead of your board. And then comes the flick. So you pop, you're leaning back and you flick way out to the side. That's another really good tip for frontside flips is to just think of flicking out to your left, or if you're goofy, to your right. It's also really important to flick early. I realized that while trying this. Actually, my wife noticed that in the footage that I was flicking too late. So it helps to flick like right away as you're popping. A little bit different than a kickflip, just slightly. So just think of flicking early, quick, and out. Another great tip for tricks like this that are 180 tricks, especially with frontside flips, if you wanna keep your board nice and level, all you have to do is think about turning 90 degrees and your body will always follow and turn the rest of the way naturally. But there is another way to do them too. People can do them more vertical. And that way, you don't have to think of the 90 concept. You can just think of turning 180. But the more legit, proper way is to just turn 90, catch it nice and level, and turn the rest of the way. I wanna ask what tip you would give, if you could give one tip on frontside flips. All right, this is gonna be a tip for pretty much every trick out there, but especially frontside flips, because the way that you're flipping them, especially if you're doing it down something, once it gets underneath you, it's really hard to get it away from you. So if you are gonna try it down something, it's better to just commit every time. Because once it gets under you, it's hard to get away from. It can get tangled up in between your legs and stuff. So make sure you kind of stay lean back a little bit more until you get over it and you're confident that you can put it down. So it's more of a risk to kick out than to just commit. I think so. That makes sense. Because once it's like stuck under your feet, you're gonna get more hurt if you just kick the board out. Straight up try your hardest, listen to everything he said, practice it on flat ground a thousand times, and then take it down some stairs, take it over something, off a bump, over a hip. Yeah, take it over the Franklin 18. <laughs> <laughs> that 
That's where I'll put that clip. All right, man, the amount of growth that I've seen in you has been so inspiring to me. I hope to grow as much as you have, and I hope that you guys are inspired to grow just as much. All right, guys, I hope you learned front side flips because of these tips. And if not, ask me some questions in the comments. I'd be happy to answer them. All right, guys, here are your key takeaways. Put your back foot on that back edge of your tail. Stand up on your back toes before you pop. Push your board out in front of you. Flick hard and to the side. And focus on just turning 90 degrees. See you in the next tutorial. You!